and definitely I can access this specific heading or this specific paragraph with this ID. Generally in CSS we need to provide the same styling to more than one place. So at all the places we can provide a class over there and we can provide more than one class name to the same element. Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about ID and classes. Now the HTML ID attribute is used to specify a unique ID for an HTML element. We cannot have more than one element with the same ID in a document. The ID attribute is used to point to a specific element in CSS or JS. So whenever we are going to use CSS and JS and from that CSS and JS, we want to specify or we want to refer to only one specific element in our HTML, then we use this specific ID. The ID name is case sensitive and there are few rules related to an ID name. It must contain at least one character. It cannot start with a number. It must not contain white spaces. So whenever you are providing an ID name for any specific element in your HTML, make sure you obey these rules. Now just like an ID, you can also provide a class to an element and for that we have a class attribute. But there is a difference between an ID and a class. Just like only one specific element can have a specific ID. You cannot have more than one element with the same ID. But unlike that, multiple elements can share the same class. So this is useful when you want to provide a specific style to multiple elements at the same time. So what we will do? We will provide same class to all those elements and we will provide style to that specific class. So at that time, we can style more than one elements at the same time. Not only more than one elements can have same class, even a single element can have more than one class names. So suppose you want to use that single element for more than one places or you want to apply different kind of codes for that specific element or style for that specific element you can provide more than one classes to that specific element. It is used to point multiple elements and the class name is also case sensitive. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. Hey guys, so here we are on our VS code and let me add few HTML pages to show you the HTML IDs and classes. So basically as discussed, ID and classes are very useful when we are creating CSS and JS for our HTML pages. But let me show you how you can create an ID and how you can create a class for an HTML element. So let me create an HTML page over here as id.html and let me quickly add the basic structure of an HTML page over here. Now here I'm going to create an h1 saying like welcome to HTML IDs and I'm going to add a sample paragraph as well. Now let me show you the output of this. So let me click on this ID and classes and let me click on this ID.html. So this is the h1 or the heading and this is the paragraph. Now I can provide an ID to the heading as ID is equal to and let me provide a heading to it like my heading. Now as discussed, there can't be any space over here. So let me provide a space and let me uh, save this file and let me click on refresh. So there you won't get any error for this specific thing. But when you will try to access this heading, definitely you are going to get an error over there. So make sure that you don't provide any space in between. And let me try to provide the same ID to two different paragraph and let me show you what effect it will give. So I have given the, the heading and the paragraph as with the same ID and let me refresh this page. So similarly, you won't get any error over here. Even if I click on inspect section and go to console, I won't find any error over here as well. But when I will try to access this specific ID in a JS file or in a CS file, definitely I will get a error. So let me just change this as my para and definitely I can access this specific heading or this specific paragraph with this ID. Make sure whenever I'm accessing this ID, I should use a hashtag or a pound symbol over there 
to access this id just like we have done that in the links and bookmark section now let me quickly create another file where i'm going to show you how we can create a class for any html tag and this will be a file known as class.html i will just copy paste the basic structure of the html doc i will name it as html classes and i will have the same code that i had for the heading now the interesting thing over here is for a class the attribute name is class and we can have the same attribute for both of them like i can keep it as my content as a class and the same class i can provide to this one now what's the benefit of having classes generally in css we need to provide the same styling to more than one place so at all the places we can provide a class over there and we can provide more than one class name to the same element like i can call it as my heading as well as my content and i can separate the class name with this space similarly i can do that over here as well like and i will name it as my para and my content so suppose if i want to give a common style to these two elements i will use the my content class and whenever i want to give a separate style to these two i will use my heading or my para similarly i can have the id to access them individually and i can provide individual structures or individual interactive code in js for those element with help of ids just keep in mind that you can provide a single id to a single element that means there can't be more than one elements in a document with same id but definitely there can be more than one element in the same document with same class name even you can't provide more than one id to the to a element but you can provide more than one class name to an element separated by a space so guys that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care